हे एवरी वन दिस इज़ नकाश अहमद एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई चैनल नॉर्थ थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव अकेडमी आई वेलकम यू ऑल वंस अगेन एंड टूडेज़ वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू शेप एंड ऑनलाइन वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल बी कवरिंग द जेसॉन फॉर्मेटिंग फॉर द शेप एंड फॉर्म लिस्ट एंड सम कॉलम्स वी हैव सम ग्रेट सैम्पल्स प्रोवाइडेड बाई माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड सम पार्टनर्स सो वी विल बी कवरिंग दैम सम फ्यू आइटम्स सो आई विल बी शोइंग यू इन दिस वीडियो but uh, first thing do go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you cannot miss my new videos okay so without any further delay let's go ahead so as you can see this is my sharepoint site that i had created i have logged in with my global admin account okay and this is a nice sharepoint site this is a communication site and this is also connected with the hub associated with the hub site that is another topic which i will be creating another video on it but you can see how responsive and how a uh, modern experience it has okay you can get uh, so many add any web parts that you can these are all the power apps that i had created and i've also added it in the page okay so let's move ahead to our main topic and that is the list so let me go to the settings click site icons contents and i have some lists here so the list that we'll be covering here is this list privileged identity management and this list i created myself uh, no uh, there is there was no pre made columns okay uh, all the columns i have made myself okay so there is some dummy data already in it it is connected to power apps already so through power apps i pull up the data here but now the thing is what if there is no power apps what if the customer says i do not need to need power apps and my users want to submit the uh, records through sharepoint okay no problem so all they have to do is they have to come here click on the new button and a nice shape and form will be open up for them but that is not that nice it is uh, very simple no colors no formatting no sections nothing else you can see it here okay this is also acceptable this is by default form and uh, users can use it but Microsoft has recently released uh, the JSON formatting thing, uh, which is really cool, and uh, it has a really bunch of options that you can do. Before proceeding, uh, this there is a nice documentation by Microsoft itself, so you can come here and see the how to configure the header as a JSON with JSON formatting, the footer and the body. So I will be covering the header, footer, and uh, and uh, body both, all these three things. and we have some samples here from pnp in the github for repository so you can also see the samples here anyways i'll uh, cover that right now in the later section of this video so let's first move ahead and see how our form is okay so you op click on the new button you, that form opened up that is the by default sharepoint online form okay now what you have to do is you have to come here on the top you can see this right top button here you have three options added columns where you can just simply added columns which one you want to uh, show which one you don't want to show okay and you can also move the column up and side and you can also add the conditional access uh, form conditional formula okay but that is not the part of the video today i'll be covering this part configure layout so now uh you can see on the right side uh, there is some uh, a, a code area here some uh, that we we can uh, write over json okay and we have to select where this json will be applied so let's start with the header first we have this uh, you know data uh, space here that is currently blank now let's go to the documentation click on the header section you can see microsoft has provided already and let's see what microsoft has for us so you can see this is a sample json which i can copy so let's copy it okay and let's go back and let's paste it okay now all you have to do is uh, because this is a default thing so you have to make it your own and your own and you have to do all the uh, uh, css things you can see there is some borders some colors some uh, border color mentioned here so you can play around with it but i'll be focusing only on some few details like the headings especially because we can see there is no heading if i go to the preview it will end up in error because it cannot find the objects okay 
so all i have to do is uh, let me remove this title part because there is no title part here okay uh, let me go move it this way and make it like this let me write it down you can see the json formatting here if you don't know the json i will uh, give you the link in the sec uh, in the comment section uh, so that you can uh, learn about json formatting json so this is the text content that i want to show so let me write something here xx request okay so let's preview it you can see the heading comes up and where does that this icon come up you, i let me show you this is the icon the group icon this is by default from the office fabric ui this is called i will show you what is the fabric ui this is the font size this is the color and you can also change the color as well now let me change the color of the background because this is also really simple so this is the background color you can see so let me remove this currently this is a border color there is no background so there is a documentation has uh, very nice by this guy SharePoint team okay it's old but it's really helpful okay so you can see you can uh, read it out and you can see the theme colors provided by office ui fabric okay and this is the for formatting of the syntax of the colors so if you want to change the background just type like this ms bg color and the name of the color okay so let me do do it like this ms bg means background make sure the spelling is right and the upper cases are right blue let me preview it so you can see the background color got up as a blue but still we have the heading here which is not really visible with the background so let's change the color of the of the font so this is the font color okay so you can see the font color you can see the documentation once again if you want the font color ms dash font color and the name of the color this is the uh, syntax so let me make it white sorry let me make it white so you can see the icon is colored now the font so this is the font part uh, let me make it white as well just to balance it out here is it so we have a nice privilege access request as the header okay so let's save this okay let's close this window and let's click on new once again and see if it works you can see our form has now has a nice uh, header but still all the columns uh, are really quite uh, looking quite simple so now it's time to do the layout for body and foot so let's select the body part now let's go to the documentation again click on the body and we have this sample here you can see the syntax here give the display name of the sections and then the fields okay so let's click on this copy the sample go back click here and paste it now section name can be uh, based on the list or uh, that you are using right now I'm using this privilege access request list and we have some personal details of the uh, employee the assignment type name username eligibility the status the assigned to and everything so let me give the section name like this personal we have we don't have any title so we have to remove it and name it as role name make sure the spelling is right and also the case sensitivity okay details okay do we have department no we don't have any department here okay so let's remove the department part and let's make it assignment start okay let's copy it make it assignment end okay do we have any country no we don't have any country so let's make it username 
and give this section a name called details okay we already have the details here so the section name will be details and the fields inside it will be assignment start assignment end and username okay so we have covered three fields and username also and let's add the comma here don't forget the comma otherwise it won't work okay uh, let's make it assignment type okay so we have four fields in the details okay and uh, let's make it this application and type the justification column here okay so this is the justification that's the status okay this will be assigned to okay so that's it we have our all the setup here let's click preview and see how it goes you can see so the person has only the role name i already have the role name in the details we have the assignment start assignment end username assignment type you can see and the application has the rest of it so you can see we have now this three sections here so user experience will be quite nice and easy so he will be able to understand where to put which information okay let's save it close it go back click on new you can see now our new now it looks much nicer and one thing if you have noticed uh, previously it was single column now it has two columns the the form is now two columns okay now let's move ahead and go with the footer okay let's go back to the documentation Microsoft has let's go to the footer section and let's copy it go back click here paste okay so if I go ahead preview it will end up in error because email was not found as an object okay so no worries so we don't want any email anyhow okay so what we can do is we can simply write a text here because it's an href hyper reference so what we can do is we can do it like this mm -hmm. we just at email to let's see if it works oh sorry So you can see I have simply added the text contact as a contact us. So you can see the contact us is here as a footer and the href attribute is the mail to. So you can, the user can simply uh, mail uh, directly from here by clicking here. Okay. So let's keep it like this. Click save. So if the user wants any more information, he can email. So this is the final result. Let's see the final result of our form. So now it looks pretty much better. It can be made more better, but this is the best for the video. Okay. So you can play around with it with the JSON, the formatting and everything. Now let's move ahead to, uh, let me quickly show you some column formatting also. Like I said, there is some uh, nice documentation here from PNP shape and listing formatting. So this is the GitHub for repository. So simply you can choose the by column or operator or category or see the see the samples. So if you go to the samples, we have so many samples for column formatting based on the type of the column. Okay, so let's go to the list here. Let's see what we can change. So you can see this is the assigned to and this is the person column and looks very simple. There is no picture of the person. There is no email, nothing. So let's add a picture here of that guy. So anyone who is assigned to uh, his or her picture will be appearing here. So let's see what we have as the sample. Mm, default hover cards maybe. Is this the one? Yep. Okay. So let's go to the person hover card JSON. So this is the JSON. 
let's click raw select all copy now how to format the column just go to the column hit arrow uh, this drop, drop down arrow column setting format this column in the format column section you can see advanced mode in the advanced mode you can have to choose the column which is already selected you can see there's a, some space here for json just select all and copy paste okay but currently it will not appear you can see this is gone because there is no editor column here we have assigned to column so we have to change it to our own assigned make sure the spelling is right let me copy it and paste it here 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 as well, and, and I think that's all we have. Let's click preview so you can see my picture pops up right away. Okay, so whenever a user will be added, his picture, his or her picture will be added. Okay, like this. Let me quickly add this assigned to column to somebody would have a picture okay click save so you can see the picture of the guy is appearing okay we can play around with this later on uh, what else we can do let's see uh, you can see the status column is already formatted very nicely with respect to the color and completed uh, and uh, Let's see what we have, something more. Let's go back. And uh, we can do is, we can have the file thumbnail to appear the thumbnail. And uh, we have the multi-choice icons as well. Let's see if we can do something like this. So icons will be appearing here. What else we can do? So yes, uh, there is one thing that we can do with the yes no column, but we don't have any yes no column yet, so we can create it quickly, and then we can uh, do the formatting to appear it like this. If for no, we can have a cross, and for yes, we can have a tick mark like this. Okay, and you can see in the documentation is written this format can be applied to yes or no column. Okay, so let's quickly make a column for yes no. Uh, yes no okay uh, yes no okay let's keep it everything as default okay so our column has been added and uh, let's go back to documentation let's click the JSON let's click the raw copy it and let's go back to column column settings format this column and choose advanced and here select all paste so let's see if there is anything that we need to change so you can see by default it is all crossed okay there is no error let's save it but let's do one thing let's change the value of from no to yes let's click it. yes save you can see the tick mark here so this is how the json formatting is uh, done through for the column and uh, form i have shown you in this video so you can uh, create the, the forms in the using the list with the modern experience and then use the JSON with the formatting uh, In this video, I'll show I've shown you some simple formatting, but you can do more advanced by checking this documentation This is really nice documentation. I will uh, put the link on the video So thank you so much for watching the video has already become so long So thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you again. Bye